Hello, friends. So before we get started today, it's day. It's the day to pick our froggy's name. So I entered all the name into this wheel of fortune, and we're gonna just randomly pick his name because all the names were amazing, and I did not know what to pick them. Let's get do. Well, congratulations, my friend. Your name is Romeo. Your name is Romeo, and apparently you're a boy, because we had girly names here too. So congratulations, Romeo the Froggy. All right, let's get going with our regular video. All right, as you know, I just want to today start on this new bucket. I don't really have high hopes for that bucket because I kind of looked at it like <clears throat> no 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 I didn't go through it but I just looked and I don't know I didn't see anything but Romeo let me introduce to you our little mascot Romeo. He is here. He'll be always now here. Um, so what else I have? I got a new uh, testing acid for silver look how clear and perfect it is i don't think um they last long i think like yeah 90 days i think the mouse they lost and you need to get new one but we have it now now we can test if you like anything as usual in this video please email me at your at gmail.com with a timestamp and a brief description of the item also if it's a previous videos when i usually don't have anything i put them in a the boxes the boxes fly like like i'm telling you like a hot cake so it's just easier for me to put it in the box and and, and sell it as a box um instead of uh putting on um on ebay one by one uh what else as usual please subscribe it's free but it tremendously helps my channel it helps me grow it helps me reach a new audience it helps me to find new friends when i reach a new audience and i love finding new friends um comment let me know what you think about today's um items and all right let's get going let me pull the big ones that I see from the top. Okay, that's the first grab. Oh my god, we buried Romeo. Okay. Oh, this one looks like um, Chico's or J. Crew something. Let's see. Yeah. We have Chico's here. We have leather cords, double cord, brown color, silver uh, lobster claw. And right here we have a very beautiful pendant silver tone with some acrylic pour right here. Plastic acrylic cabochons. Right here we have Chico. Oh, this is supposed to say Chico's. All right. So awesome blossom another big one a huge i would say okay how does it go it goes like this so we have a beep style necklace um gunmetal color closure and chain we have plastic plastic beads that were painted pink there is a little bit of scuffies but it kind of gives this necklace a little bit of a charm and an old kind of a presentation we have a gold tone right here this is how it looks in the back it's in a it's in good condition it's beautiful color i love this oops my uh cotton rounds it's really pretty, really, really pretty. I don't think it has a name. No, it doesn't have a name, unfortunately. Okay. Cuff bracelet, interesting gold tone, has a little bit of scuffies, 
just a little bit no name i don't know how to wear this thing it's like this i guess something like from a steampunk maybe i don't know maybe now uh, hold on a second oh i thought there was a name right here but no it's just a nothing maybe like this oh no and like this is not comfortable anyway bracelet bangle bracelet next is let's take a look right here we have a chain kind of antiqued antiqued gold tone i don't think it is anything special yeah it's very magnetic probably some um some uh pendant fell off of it i'll let, let it be until we find some pendant right here we have a pretty necklace uh gold tone um gold tone tad bead wears off from here chain and then it splits into multiple strands one two four strands with plastic i think let me turn on my pressy um plastic beads um you know what I'll do, I'm probably going to put it to um, craft, I think, because I just don't like the scuffing over here. Let me see if it's glass or not, and then we'll go from there. I don't think so. It doesn't feel like glass. Yeah. What else we have here? let's see okay yeah it's not glass yeah i think i'm gonna put this to craft let's see what do we have next let me grab this big one. Oh my this one's heavy so we have a gold tone with the faux leather or leather i think faux leather or maybe leather i am really bad at, at identifying it has weight uh really good condition and we have a tag it's zara zara it's actually zara hmm i've never seen zara uh jewelry um so it's bib style necklace gold tone with women leather kind of cords in it i think it's leather i think Oh, I'm so bad at it. So looks like this. It's very clean, great condition, and it is it's heavy. But it looks fantastic. And let me show you something. I have I have right here um this bingle bracelet. It looks kind of that they can go together, but I don't think this one's Zara. It's it doesn't say anything. There is no marks or anything. It's just gold tone and um, leather. But I think it would look good fantastically together. What do you think? What else? Uh, right here we have a plastic red and black bead necklace with gold tone closure. I, yeah, it's very simple oh yeah, yeah huh what's happening here oh no I have a feeling this is gold, the way it looks and the way it was. So right here we have a most likely gold. Let's take a look. Italy. Italy 417. What is 417? M. What is force? Oh, right here is something. 10K. 
10k on this one but i have no idea what 417 means italy um nice uh very nice chain if it's 10k where is my measuring oh oh here it is all right let's see how much it weighs Uh, 1.1 grams not bad not bad not bad let's see if we have um, anything oh wait a minute wait a minute oh wow oh wow look at that look at this what a gorgeous pendant do we have it oh something's on the back why is it like black like this on the back? 585, 14 karat. Oh my God, this one is 14 karat. Why is this black on the back and kind of... A... That's a 14 karat. But why right here it looks like an opal and right here it's black? Um, okay. I don't think I can test opal on my presidium, but I can test this little tiny red thingy. And it looks like it's ruby. Let me show you guys. Let me show you. A little tiny red one. Yeah, it looks like it's ruby. I don't think it's a far, it, either or. I don't think I can test the yeah, opal, but um, we have a 14 karat. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to take this chain, because I don't have gold chains. Even though this one is probably 10 karat, but that's okay. It can be forgiven. And put this one on this. <gasps> we struck in this bucket, too. We, we did, yeah, yeah, so far, hopefully. Here we go. So this is what I am going to do. We're having 10 karat necklace with 14 karat gold and opal and ruby pendant. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Maybe I'll wear it one time because I like it. <laughs> All right. Moving right along. What else do we have here? Oh, I don't like... Ooh, my God, we keep on striking. I think this is silver. <laughs> Let's take a look. And maybe we can test our new asset. All right. So what do we have? Kind of a cord necklace, cord um, ne uh, chain with this pendant. The green is Jedi green stone right here cabochon is jedi so let's double check we have silver here so right here we have 925 i think ita italy probably that's what it means right here we have nothing right here we have s a s and right here we should have silver on the tongue yeah right there nine two five right there okay so this is silver what about this guy oh it's right there on the bail s a s nine two five okay so shall we shall we test it what do you guys think shall we try maybe it's a silver plated yeah, it's not magnetic. Good. Now let's try this one. I'm not sure I'll be able to. All right, let's try.
Um, I'm having my suspicions, guys, to be honest. That's a bale. Oh, I mean, that's the... This one's kind of, yeah, has a red, but this one is suspicious. So let's take a look. Let me try this one. So right here I'm scratching it. So let's see how it will work. Maybe we'll see red. I think I see a little bit something. Yeah, right there. Right there. So we have red. We have red. Okay, so we have silver. We have silver. Oh, I need to wipe it. All the stain all the stains. We do have silver here, so that's an awesome kind of a find. Really cute necklace. Silver chain, silver pendant with a Jedi. Very clean, beautiful, shiny. Okay, silver tone necklace. Uh, Cold Water Creek, probably. Yes, Cold Water Creek with different colored plastic beads you probably can wear it maybe twice maybe not sure if it's going to be like a color but there are different beads and they kind of graduated from brownish to bluish to purplish so this is cold water creek necklace right here we have a vintage actually um necklace plastic beads they kind of they're not knotted in between but they spaced and glued um like to look like they're spaced and have knots they're not it's a very simple plastic uh white bead necklace Uh, what do we have here right here? We have oh, we have a Brighton here guys. Look at this We have a very simple silver tone chain with one wing and a, a Faux pearl One silver ring and one faux pearl. We have indicative to Brighton uh, closure a Lobster claw there's a hair here. I'll remove it with the heart and we have a tag that says heart with the B Okay, so we have Brighton and another great catch uh, this is, I don't know what this is. This is a uh, part of something. This will be colored shells and plastic beads. So we, this is going to be in craft. Um, this is very interesting item. Um, copper, no, bronzy color chain. We have a heart with different hangies. Also kind of like a steampunk there is no signature or anything so kind of a steampunk jewelry oh i think this one another silver one guys oh yes look at this wow we can't keep on catching stuff so we have a bracelet here a silver bracelet i'm gonna double check on the stamping but i think i saw the stamps so they kind of like couple hearts and then we have a flower with most likely cz's they're very sparkly they're very sparkly see very sparkly let me double check yes they're very clear very beautiful uh, cubic zirconia now let's take a look right here we have a tag so we have humsum we have a heart there is nothing on the heart but on the humsa we have probably israeli silver let's take a look yeah we have s925 Yes, so it's Israeli silver bracelet with a uh, flower um, that have CZs. Another great catch, and we just started. 
Um, this necklace looks to me next one is uh, J. Crew. Let's see. Oh yeah. Right here we have J. Crew. We have a necklace right here. Uh, where is my? Okay, let me grab my blue light. So let's see. I lost my big one. Not much of our changes. Okay, so we have a necklace. At least all the rhinestones seems to be here on this J. Crew. We have kind of a greenish bottle color rhinestones and orange cabochons right here kind of a gold toned chain color this is the back it, like all j crew kind of look like this in the back okay very pretty j crew necklace let's see let's take a look at this this is a bracelet um, the jumping rings are magnetic baskets are not let's see who made you so this is the bracelet made of weaving baskets like this gold tone let's see if there is anything on it it says s j I will need to research who SJ is, but I have my doubts. It's nothing. It's just a metal, just a gold tone color. I will make sure I'll figure out who SJ is, but cute basket bracelet. This is Robert Robert Rose. I think he is also kind of cool. So we have silver tone chain with this pendant, silver tone and blue and red uh, plastic cabochons. And right here we have a tag. On the tag it says Robert Rose. Pretty necklace. A uh, bracelet or a anklet, uh, faceted, small faceted beads, flowers made out of beads, very pretty. What's next? Again, oh, I thought it was called Water Now New York Company necklace. Looks like three stranded strands are layered oh, something fell so we have layered layered plastic i think yeah plastic ac acrylic beads uh, very kind of a nude beige color pretty some are darker than the others very pretty necklace Um, interesting necklace we have a red or orangey kind of more um, red or orangey color string with a real tiny um, gold tone flower pendant we have a tag uh, there is nothing on a tag just a crystal crystal rhinestone and a gold tone closure Okay, let's see what's next. Both necklaces are gold tone. So this one has kind of a scuffies 
I will put this is a just a gold tone chain with a gold tone leaf magnetic I will put this one in craft because it does have kind of scuffs right here on the bail and yeah what do we have here also actually really good new condition excellent condition necklace we have a gold tone uh, chain with a kind of satellite beads some of them are just gold tone uh, textured links and right here we have glass this kind of a green faceted satellites are green, uh, glass they're very muted kind of um, sea sea glass kind of a color very pretty there is no name there is no name but it does have a lobster claw condition is excellent very excellent looks to me a little bit reminds me a little bit of a kate spade okay this was the uh, first grab oh let me grab this one more grab So far we have gold, we have opal, we have a bunch of stuff, very cool stuff. All right, here we have a second uh, grab. We have earrings here, only one pair, and this one is single, most likely. Uh, they're, they're new, but I am going to put them to craft because they're not complete set. Right here we have a silver tone necklace with clear gray and green rhinestones one green rhinestone is missing right here so i will put this necklace even though it's very clean it does have a tag it says i think it says eve or eve -E, eve oh no v9 it says gv9 yeah i don't know what it means but one uh, rhinestone green is missing right here i don't have rhinestones like this if you can fix it it would be great uh, resale item but as of right now it's in craft uh, right here we have a very uh, i i get quite a few necklaces like this the beads are wrapped in silk kind of strands this one is kind of burgundy color uh, craft stretchy bracelet gold tone hammered links oh another stretchy bracelet uh, bronzy color kind of links uh, stretch is good I wonder what this is this is pretty these are glass beads they're purple uh, color purple color beads necklace is very very pretty especially these beads right here are very pretty and they kind of they have they're clear and around is kind of like iridescent coating very pretty glass necklace um, I don't know what this is but i think it's necklace that's missing a closure right here and i think it closes like this i can add the closure it closes like this so we have like links we have real pearls well yeah real pearls this one's a real stones i can tell you for sure they're go to um quartz there's some type of quartz like maybe um see. yeah the only oh look at this and right here it says nine to five right here it says nine to five so we have nine to five floor de lis pendant all we need um interesting if this only fleur lee is what's silver let's try the link yeah i don't think links are silver oh i don't know whatever now a fleur de lis and a link yep the bows, all of them are silver. You can see that, like, that's the reason why I bought this clear one. So you can see brown and red starting up. 
right here you can see um, hopefully you can guys can see red so that indicates silver brown red right here it's really good silver and right here see perfect we have sterling on our hands all of it is sterling all i need to do is just add um add the closure and you probably can like close it like this next to next to the fleur de lis i will find silver closure and that would be perfect yep that would be perfect i hope we're like not missing anything but it's kind of small it's kind of small it might be like um it's probably something was missing here but let's take a look 16 inches guys 16 inches so it's kind of a color necklace but it's a lot of silver if no one wants it i'll just um give it to my jeweler all right moving right along right here we have a necklace it does have a, oh, oh we're also chicos right here we have chicos so we have beads faceted beads and kind of a and right here over here it also says chicos um unfortunately guys to be honest i think something is missing right here so even though it's Chico's, I'm going to have to sell it as a um, as, uh, craft item. Okay. I have, um, I have an earring, single earring, so I'm going to put it aside. What else? Oh, this is very pretty. Glass bracelet cubed pink and faceted blue with ab coating toggle clasp uh rose kind of buds toggle clasp a slightly magnetic but very pretty glass bracelet um liz clairborn um necklace silver tone excellent condition silver tone and blue plastic cabochons so it's very clean very um good condition practically new great necklace okay let's take a look at this one i don't know if it's wood or it's some kind of plastic i think it's plastic beads made to look like wood but they're kind of Carved. I I kind of I don't know. I think I'm just gonna put it uh, put this item into craft, guys. All right. What is this kind of penguin? What did I do with my? Oh no, I can't find my. Hmm. Oh, here it is. My blue light. Let's take a look. Looks like um, it doesn't look like amber to me, guys. It's a it does have a no. You know what? It does have a, a slight green tint. But what it means, it's this been reheated. As you can see, the amber was reheated and put into form. So reheated amber rarely gives really good green glow. Only like raw or raw polish not reheated uh, gives really good um um so yeah um i'm thinking this one was reheated well i'm not thinking i'm i know it was reheated to fit into the form so but it, it it's amber just reheated and with, with a slight glow yeah i see the glow just very slight okay all right moving right along let's take a look at here we have um silver tone necklace it is it is leah sophia right here uh, plastic purple beads faceted beads silver beads dark light faux pearls necklace leah sophia 
in this bag we have earrings um, interesting earrings they're gold tone in the back they are kind of rustic looking on the front we have discs looks like an artisan piece glass glass the cabochon and the dangly bead are glass oh this is interesting oh another pair of earrings i thought it was necklace they're wow these are these are big so a pair of dangle earrings we have a silver tone chains and then cubed beads they're glass and they go from clear to gray to black kind of graduated color pretty long about i would say two and a half three inches dangle uh, right here we have rhinestones on the ear piece and also glass Let me show you right here pretty earrings very pretty earrings i'm gonna put them here so they won't get lost uh, right here we have a bracelet copper collar links and plastic beads this one will be in craft another pair of earrings a silver tone actually let's let me take a look so basically we have kind of like a lady right here and there's something on the back they might be silver oh uh, no i don't think i see anything they're not magnetic what do you say test time we need to use our acid before it goes back what did, what did i say before it goes back before it goes bad where back is good yep it's silver guys i can see brown red or brown color let me show you you probably can see it also right there so this is silver it's way easier to see when it is on, on the white yep here it is here is our silver way easier and i only trust silver um silver acid i used to test with 18 karat gold um when it turns blue and i can tell you i have a video if you're new to my channel go take go find that video or i maybe um i will um edit right somewhere right here a link on top somewhere right here i think or here somewhere on top to that video where i tested something um tested positive for silver with 18 karat gold and then when i tested um with 18 karat gold acid when i tested with the silver it tested negative so just because it tests blue it not necessarily means it's silver however if it is silver it will test blue with um 18 karat all right so anyway a uh, new one new necklace oh, this one needs to go right here here we go so what do we have here we have a necklace oh my goodness here we go we have a necklace looks kind of like old um this type of closure it's gold tone it's vintage guys this one's vintage uh, it has faux pearls and kind of a diamond shab by comb crystals crystals are crystals are glass four pearls are glass however uh, there are a lot of scuffing to uh, um, faux pearls i mean it's vintage guys so what do we expect right it is vintage okay next we have this is just a chain simple uh, ball chain 
Right here we have faux pearls necklace with a silver tone. Um, some pearls have scuffs. Um, craft. And right here we have an um, interesting bracelet in this bag. It looks, looks awesome condition. It's silver tone and gold tone kind of twisted together. It's not magnetic. I don't think it's magnetic. No, it's not. Uh, it's just a bracelet. There is no name in, or anything else. It was worn. There's a little bit of scuffies on the back. Like a little bit of shine lost, but maybe we can polish it. Interesting bracelet. So, here it is. It's magnetic, guys. Okay. All right, let's see. Ooh, I dropped it. Let's see what else we have here. Let me grab more stuff. I think this is enough all right here we have a baggie with pair a pair of earrings interesting earrings it's like a hands holding heart with a crown they're magnetic um, but they kind of they kind of cute all right Right here we have a bracelet. It says Dandy Craft. We have uh, leather and some type of um, ceramic decoration right here. It says Dandy. Dandy on the back of this also. So it's like this, like a, yeah, like a watch. P pretty cool, I kind of like it. Another pair of earrings. Uh, look like a fish, <laughs> fish um, spine. Two-toned, silver tone and gold tone, muted, great condition. Um, I don't know what this is. It is a necklace. This is kind of dichroic plastic. Yeah, it's kind of plastic with kind of shimmery. Maybe even, you know what? I think uh, the mother of pearls inside, guys, to be honest. The different green and purple colors, beads, they're knotted in between. And we have a toggle clasp right here, kind of a button. And I think, to be honest, I do think there is... Um, shells there are shells inside look because they look like mother pearls i will need to research i've never seen anything like that this is pretty this is pretty also we have um we have a bracelet i don't think it's yeah it's a lobster claw but i don't see anything that it would indicate it might be silver because maybe not let me see yeah i don't i don't think i see this but if you see we have natural pearls and we have lapis and some hematite i think beads yes it's definitely lapis and we have natural pearls like kind of potato shaped pearls great bracelet um bracelet hinge bracelet gold tone with plastic cabochon right here very simple but very clean and great condition okay another bracelet oh, what is this single earring right here we have single earring i'm going to earring i'm just going to put it aside then we have a gold tone bracelet with faux leather weaving and uh, rhinestone 
probably see these uh, rows. All the rhinestones seems to be here. They are they're glass. The glass um, rhinestones, very pretty, great condition, toggle clasp, beautiful bracelet. Next is a necklace. Oh, this one fell off. I just need to put it back. Yeah, I just need to put it back through the jump ring, but we have gold tone closure and then we have glass beads. Uh, necklace faceted beads different type of beads very pretty very shiny glass yeah they're all glass oh this one's maybe natural guys hold on oh yeah this one's natural this one's a quartz right here we have quartz maybe even kind of purple amethyst or something very this one's a natural the rest beads are um glass interesting bracelet nautical kind of oh let's see what the tag it says it says ashiana so this is ashiana bracelet we have gold tones we have cowrie shells we have some fabric weaving into it interesting interesting bracelet very pretty cool beachy bracelet we have another bracelet this one's also interesting it is kind of like seed beads very pretty very pretty and it closes with this kind of buttons toggle cl uh, closure different um, openings for different sizes I don't know what this is probably some type of uh, chain for a watch for a pocket watch or something it's silver tone silver tone chain with yeah, this kind of hooks uh, we have another bracelet this bracelet is three strands faux pearls but they're glass because they have weight they have yeah yeah they're glass glass pearls um it, uh, the closure has a bit of a scaffy it was silver tone but now a copper a little bit um peeking through but we can always change it to a silver tone one the beads are in excellent condition the faux, faux pearls are in excellent condition okay what is this very simple necklace um, chain and some kind of a silver tone beads they are not magnetic I don't see any what about the chain chain is not magnetic last test of the day I think chain is right here and let's try the beads beads are right here why okay my thing is leaking i think okay let's see guys i think we got ourselves um maybe silver something but now i'm kind of uh not so sure let's see no the beads might be no i'm i'm gonna say no 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 we don't have silver no this is not silver this is just silver tone uh even these beads are not silver so silver tone chain and the last one for today we have this um bracelet it's a pool bracelet right here you pull and close it's kind of antique gold tone with the hamsa pendant the green is 
green is natural natural it goes to kind of a garnet tourmaline iolite line kind of in the middle of it glass pendants uh, i mean glass uh rhinestones right here in hamsa and on the back it says I don't know what it says it says a or something and a small rhinestone let's take a look little tiny rhinestone is cz on the back and i don't know some kind of letter or v maybe v right there like this maybe it's v all right so this little tiny hamsa bracelet is very pretty all right my friends romeo and i telling you that we appreciate every single one of you we thank you for being with us for hanging out the beginning of this new bucket is pretty good fingers crossed please subscribe it um it it helps me honestly to promote my channel and gain more friends thank you so much for being here i appreciate every single one of you love you all i will see you next time Bye bye